Hello, ladies and gentlemen. I'm the Marmoset. Welcome back to City Skylines and Vertebrae Park. So we're going to be naming and sorting that for now. But first things first, we're going to be ticking along, making sure that we've got the requisite amounts of supporting materials. Now, we don't have a great deal of cash left. Hopefully, we should have enough to pick off a few bits and pieces. So let's stick a hospital in. Can we get that to it ticks all the way up to the end? Nope. Okay, let's put a hospital in the center here. Then let's look at... Ooh, do we have any crime... Yes, yeah, so you can see the bits and pieces that are covered by this, but I think generally we're going to be okay. But I think having an extra police station in isn't going to hurt. Fire station. Always going to be useful. The other thing we are going to do is put a fire station in over here. Why? Because I don't want my um, nice expensive areas over there burning down. Now we're out of cash. So we're going to have to wait a little bit. So while I put our new bus line in... So let's uh, put a set of stops in. Create a line, yes. I like buses. Buses enable my citizens to move around their place and where they live. Why do I like these things so much? Does it make things so much happy? So that bus line isn't going to do very much for anyone right now, but while we're waiting, I am going to... Can I... Make that any larger? No, apparently not. I am going to paint all of my residential in. So, painting at the residential, painting at the residential. The marquee tool is going to be so much quicker for this since I don't have any other bits and pieces that are not yet tagged in this area. Switch back to the paint tool. The final few bits. So, uh, what I am going to do is quickly grab this. And I am going to put a small amount of commercial into the heart of the district. Just to make sure there is a little bit of support for that. Okay, right, so that's that bit done. Just let the cash tick on a little bit. Now, what was it we were looking at doing next? Oh, yeah, it was an elementary school. Next one I want is a high school, 24,000, which we should have enough of that. Bus is already in. The last thing I need to do with the bus line is bring it so that it connects up to another spot on there. To my knowledge, line number 18, modify route, line color, maybe it's very red, very dark. Maybe a very pale pink for me, line number 18. Yes, there we can. So you just you boodle up, go to the bus station, wend your way around the route as everyone does. So the reason I put this extra bus lane in here is because so many buses come in and come around, come in and come around, come in and come around. Still hear the dinging going on. You're complaining about no power. Yeah, it's because that power line I stuck in the middle of it isn't connected anymore. Good, that solves that one. Uh, eventually this power line will sort itself out, but I think I should have some gaps where the power lines were, but I think we're pretty good for that. Good, okay, so cash is coming in. Was it 24,000 for a new high school is what I wanted? Where did I put the yeah, put that in there? So let's stick our new high school in there. Parks. Let's put succession of little parks in on quite a few of our 
Not enough money, not enough money. Now I have enough money. Dirt spray. Also help spread the power a bit. No. Plaza with trees. Don't have money for a picnic table. Well, they're expensive. That's the huge one. I'd be exceptionally surprised. I can fit it in. Um. Do 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 do. Uh, I do actually think having one of these little plazas with trees. Just in that there. Okay. Don't want any of those. Do I want to put any of these roots in? Uh, yeah, I think I will sit one in there. Just so that's tipped off there. And I don't see any immediate problem with... No. No, no, that was silly. Want to take up too much of these people's space? Yeah, I think just the occasional little. <laughs> so there's one massively important residential building along here, and I'm afraid to report that it's on fire. Raining and thunder, thunder and rain. Hey, so uh, that's completely quelled our residential demand. I do hope. We're going to see some kind of fire truck soon. Are they all the other way having to come down here to turn around? No, this building is going to burn down. <laughs> the first of our lovely new hotels, <laughs> and it's going to burn down because our fire trucks are. Heaven knows. I mean, there's medical clinic, firehouse. Where are your fire trucks? Fire station. I mean, there is. Yeah, rushing to fire. You're going to be too late. It's going to have burnt down by then. Yeah, there we go. Oh, well. fun. So, part of me is thinking, given this ridiculous long stretch is part of the reason why that building burnt down, that I might just add in a couple of little road bumps here and there to allow people to turn around. Um, we can also exploit this a little bit in that we can grab that. Give me a straight road. We can just add a little bit of commercial zoning in, but just having a few roads that just come off this just a little bit. So I think these are all toggle snapping. Yes, I want snapping. I want it to be snapped. I've asked it to be snapped. Yep, okay, so that's all there. Um, get rid of the road thing. 78% full. I would like to empty you so that I can put you somewhere else. <laughs> yes, the building is burnt down. I think it might be worthwhile investing in some of the mega buildings on our primary strip over here. How much is the big fire station? 65,000. That's huge. Jeez, look at the size of that. That's a hospital. Is this place already opposite, op occupied by down here? The road's complaining about it? Oh, it's the park. 
park on the end over here. And that small playground there. It's the university. Fresh meatballs. Boom. And that was a wave of happiness that spread out to everywhere. How are we doing for the dead? Capacity of computer availability. Cemetery use. Apparently you can fit an awful lot of people in these cemeteries. And a beautiful looking hospital. What's the next enormous thing we can build? That's a police headquarters. That's a fire station. Need another 60,000 for that. How much is that going to cost me? 14,000 a week. Well, you can hear all the dinging going off. Yes, I know. The building is burnt down. They do that a lot. Look at all these uninhabited buildings. Well, he's still making a vast amount of money, but look at all these uninhabited buildings. So this is working. In and out, in and out. doesn't need to be any wider, because it's only essentially single-file traffic. They're not going to be waiting for to go anywhere. The only possible point I might want to make it wider is here, so they don't back up anywhere. So there's a bit more space for them to be backing up, but in and out, in and out, in and out. Um, in fact, I might make that future-proofing decision now. The two-lane... Please. And then I don't want any actual industrial on that bit of road. So what this should do with that down there. Utterly, utterly prevent from getting any backlog that might cause a problem. They back up this way, there's nothing I can do about it. They're all single file, they're all trying to get into here. 55,000. Yes, that, the, the hospital made a not insignificant dent. So let's see if there are any education, healthcare. Click that one, click that one, clear. Healthcare. Opportunities for relocation. Yes. Why? Because I have an enormous hospital now. I don't need to keep that one in over there. This place is rapidly filling up. Yay, the hotel rebuilt. <laughs> it's slightly to the left of where it was, but the hotel rebuilt. How many statistics I can get? No. This is I can get on my taxis. I mean, just, no, not just how much money I'm spending on my taxis, like how many tourists am I actually getting in my city? Is there a tourism button? Land value, levels, wind, health, education, power, pollution. Leisure. Parks and places. Activity low to high. So generally the indication is that these guys aren't spending a lot of time in leisure facilities. These guys have no leisure activities, but these guys generally are pretty okay. So while we let the money tick in a little bit, let's go ahead and paint in the vertebrae. Grab the big one and go down the center. Go to the small one. Don't want to trip too much of the zoning on the turtle tourist trap. But I think that's all of that filled in. Nice. So let's have a look. Um, Birdsong Hills. No. The ta gray parks. 
because there are lots and lots of parks in this area. While that's ticking along, let's have a look at what policies we can enact in Vertebrae Park. Small businesses here, industrial space planning, improves the amount of goods produced in industry building, high-tech housing, increased land value, encourage biking, NIMBY, no loud noise at night, old town, Ban other motor traffic. You got anyone else is allowed to go through here. Yeah. Power uses persuasion recycling. Slightly reduced reduced garbage accumulation, yeah. Parks and recreation. Increased park decoration budget by twenty percent. Now, is that a policy? Let's have a look. How much are we spending on parks and rec at the moment? It's quite a large amount, but that going up by twenty percent is ultimately sustainable given we're now making up to 17,000 at a time. So let's put a citywide policy of that. Do we want more people going to school? Uh, we've got a massive problem with people not going to work, so I'm happy with that. Ah, huh, we should check the note we need to buy it, but it need to build a prison or not. Um, taxation. Let go out of leisure. We don't have a lot of leisure areas, but we do have the strip down the centre, the monkey strip, which I'm pretty happy with that. Booster entertainment and attractiveness values. Yeah. City planning. High tech housing. Old town. Let's, uh, let's encourage, flat out encourage biking. We don't have any high rises in this part of town. Industrial space planning. Overlooking a few safety laws. No, no, that's not what I like to do. I like safety laws. Safety laws are good. Safety laws keep you happy. Small business enthusiast. Low density commercial buildings. Increase their sales. Well, let's put that policy on over here. In B shopping. Apparently there's a little bit of residential area tucked in amongst the zoning. I'm not too concerned about that. So, the new high-tech housing. What does high-tech housing do? Slightly increased land value. Let's, um, let's make vertebrae parks. High-tech housing. And we'll leave the rest of that as it is. And then we'll just tick along 17,000 a month. Abandoned building. Yeah, I know. There are a lot of abandoned buildings. There's nothing I can do about it. The educate, I mean, this high school capacity is vast compared to the population's demand. Plenty of space for there, and the university is barely full, so I'm not immediately concerned. However, we were going to look at putting in a great big police station. Now, where is. There's our great big hospital. There's our university. There's a park there. Do could I move you? You're a fire station. I am looking at also putting in a new. So there's a fire station there. Let's uh, turn the speed down to one. A fire station there. A fire station down here. Up there. Don't have one over in the donkey mines just yet. That might be why we're getting a lot of problems with buildings burning down. Firehouse. What kind of connectivity. Yeah, you got plenty of it into the rest of it, so let's build. Let's see what kind of array uh, so yeah, it's going to cause another massive pulse out. Police department, and next to it, oh, it's already occupied by our railways. Let's put it next to the hospital. So in this little centre point along here, wow, that should help. We've got 
Lots of fire engines there. Lots of other bits and pieces. So we've got a nice little center area. Look at all the dinging. They hear the dinging going on as so all everything upgrades. So this little area here consists of our university, our, one of our large parks. We've got a university fire station, that hospital. We've got great big one of these in. We've got a taxi stand. We've got our huge great big stuffed bus terminal. Absolutely full to bursting. I think we can probably... It's a good job I think I filled this area out. I don't think we can really sustain any more people going on um, and reaching this. That bus terminal is absolutely full. I think uh, what we will be doing next time is I'm going to let this run for a fair chunk of bit and let the demand build up a bit. Um, until we get industrial demand, I don't really see much of the interest in filling in more of this area. It's just going to cause a few more problems. But what we can do is let it tick up, build a nice watch of cash, and then we can start thinking about where we want to build next. And it's going to be in this area. This is going to be our high density area. I'm going to start with a hub and I'm going to build a spider's web. So we're going to be looking at building a new junction. Cemetery needed. A dead person is waiting for transport. Okay, well I've got one cemetery over there. I've got another cemetery over there. Where apparently do I have this dead person waiting for transport that my two cemeteries at the moment can't get. Okay, you know what? Let's stick another cemetery in there. It's on an exceptionally quiet road, and that should enable you deceased stored, deceased processed, hearses in use 1 of 1, hearses in use 7 of 10, hearses in use 9 of 10. Okay. So, yeah, we will let this tick on for a little bit. We'll build up a nice watch of cash. And when you next see me, we will be looking at building a new motorway junction. Um, yeah, building a new motorway junction. What I might do is gut this, make a much smaller, neater version um, in this area, um, and then start work from there. We've got a bit of a traffic problem. <laughs> up and down this main strip, but there's nothing I can really do about it other than making it just a full-on six-way without the bus lanes. But for the most, I'm pretty happy that the buses are doing their job. Um, and micro-roundabouts just tend to pile things up. Yeah, so you're not getting off there nearly as much as I want. So, next time we'll be rebuilding this um, into a shape that allows me to get traffic in and out of my city that much better and then we will be looking at with the safe spec the saved space building a new interchange driving piling some motorways into the center of here and then looking at building a new great big high density area of mostly commercial residential and we're going to probably start looking at doing our first few offices now we have a university starting to spit out hyper educated people okay i have been the marmoset this has been city skylines thank you very much for watching i'll see you next time please remember to like and subscribe